there's a bright light shining at Chandelier Bakery. Go beyond the counter and behind the molasses cookies. You'll find Chris White hard at work. And your baking soda, one teaspoon or five grams. With the help of Monica, the bakery owner, who's also his older sister, Chris makes his famous cookies. Still kind of runny though. For dogs. It's kind of fun doing the dog treats. With a little pumpkin and some peanut butter, it's a family recipe. For the last two years, Chris has been busy making these treats. Probably around four to 5,000 this year alone. He's a stickler for perfection, making sure the bones are just right. Don't want it like too thick or too thin on the bones. About 35 to 40 grams each. Each bone cut out. It's ready. And then weighed using an adaptive scale. 43 grams. So it's a little over. A single batch makes about 25, 30 cookies. And when the bakery opens tomorrow, there'll be a hot seller. He does great work. Everybody loves his dog treats. And they're our number one seller here at the bakery. And I'm super proud of him for that. Chris's hands earn more than just sticky dough. He loves to polish rocks. And his family says while he can't see how beautiful they are, he finds beauty in the way they feel. Yeah, you can kind of feel like the difference with them. Because uh, when you first like do them, they're not that uh, nice feeling. When the cookies are done, they get placed in a jar and put out front for everyone to see Chris's masterful work with his hands, making the owners of Chandelier Bakery grateful for their brother. We just figured that, you know, there's a purpose for everything, and so we just don't let it you know, you know. Let get us down because we know we're fortunate that we have him. Chris works at the bakery five to six days a week when he can. They also sell pup cakes with a bone for the smaller dogs. If you have a story you'd like to have featured in Stories of Thanks, contact us on KGW's Facebook page.